is up you guys welcome back to another one if you are new to the channel i am gold pony i do new car truck suv reviews on youtube and today we are in the brand new 2023 volvo xc60 courtesy of younger volvo cars of hagerstown in hagerstown maryland for more information on their inventory please feel free to check out the link in the description box below and so we're in this one today because there are plenty of changes for the 2023 model gear including brand new trim levels for this year as well so that's pretty exciting not only that this is an iihs top safety pick plus which by the way is the very highest designation given by iihs so that pretty much says it all right there but ultimately in this video we will be testing out and going over everything about this one from acceleration to braking steering feel ride quality sound system exhaust clip all that fun stuff so having said all that what do you guys say let's just go ahead and jump right into it and as always let's start with pricing and so as you can imagine there are several trim levels for the 2023 xc60 first one being core starting at forty four thousand five hundred and thirty five dollars then there is plus for forty eight thousand seven hundred and ninety five dollars and lastly ultimate starting at fifty four thousand five hundred and ninety five dollars and so that was all pricing for the b5 power plant there is a b6 available with all-wheel drive if you wanted that option at five thousand five hundred and fifty dollars and then that was also all pricing for the front wheel drive if you wanted to go with all wheel drive simply add twenty three hundred dollars then on top of that but as i alluded to there are two different power plants first one codenamed b5 that is going to be powered by a two liter turbocharged inline four cylinder with the mild hybrid system putting out 247 horsepower 258 pound feet of torque power sent to front wheels or all wheels through an eight speed automatic zero to 60 time coming in at 6.6 .6 seconds for the front wheel drive 6.5 seconds then for the all wheel drive mpg numbers then coming in at 23 in the city 30 on the highway and then to put it simply that b6 power plant that's going to be a pretty similar power plant more or less the two liter turbocharged inline four cylinder with a mild hybrid system but this time putting out 295 horsepower 310 pound feet of torque zero to 60 time for that one again 6.5 seconds so really not much of a difference there but so that before we do any kind of fun acceleration here in our xc60 i do want to mention some minor drive mode adjustments to the xc60 if you go to the little gear icon at the bottom right hand corner of the infotainment screen that's essentially your settings and that gives you a couple different driving adjustments like there is an off-road mode available there is also a steering field that you can adjust as well i'm actually just going to go ahead and hit that to kind of firm up the steering field because that's typically what i prefer so did want to mention that before we do this acceleration but now having mentioned that what do you guys say let's go ahead and find it straight away let's put the xc60 here to the test and let's see how quickly we can get our new 2023 volvo xc60 here up to speed all right a little bit of a rolling start but three two one and go yeah buddy <laughs> that's not bad actually the, and there's no turbo lag because of that mild hybrid system but that is plenty of an acceleration for the xc60 without a doubt you're not going to have any issues emerging onto the highway kind of surprised me i like that acceleration in the xc60 0 to 60 and 6.5 as plenty fine but anyways to go along with that acceleration as always braking is equally important so up front you will find 13.6 inch ventilated front discs in the back 12.6 inch solid rear discs as far as that 60 to zero stopping distance goes that comes in an insanely impressive 118 feet so let's hit the brakes yeah that works and it's very firm braking feel as well which i personally prefer because a lot of times with suvs specifically you're going to get kind of a loose braking feel there's not a whole lot of emotion to it sometimes can be dead spots but that is not the case in the xc60 this braking feel is wonderful one of the better braking feels that i typically test in suvs without a doubt it's instantly going to bring you to a stop so very big fan of the braking in this thing then touching on suspension and handling up front you're going to get a double wishbone type front suspension in the back integral link rear suspension front and rear stabilizer bars as far as ride quality goes it's been perfectly fine in my short test drive here today so far so definitely no issues there i haven't had any complaints but i will say Hagerstown roads are pretty darn good, but having said that still, ride quality has been perfectly fine. Steering feel, it's nice. It's now very much so on the heavier side of things because I adjusted it in settings. I love that there's an adjustment for the steering feel because aside from actually changing an entire driving mode, a lot of manufacturers won't offer just the steering feel adjustment alone by itself. So I love that the XC60 does that because I do tend to prefer a heavier weighted steering feel. If you don't, you don't have to push that button and it's a little bit looser, but still, I love it. It's really tailored to my personal preference when it comes to the steering feel. As far as cabin noise goes, I am going, eh, we'll say 50 miles per hour right now. 
Uh, you get a little bit of road noise, but honestly, it's not too bad. So in my short test drive here, I haven't had any issues with that. Touching our rear visibility, I could see 100% perfectly fine out the back. Let me see why. The headrest tilt down, that is why. The second row headrests actually tilt down. They're folded down right now. So because of that, if you didn't have any second row passengers, that's definitely an option. That gives you 100% perfect visibility out of that rear view mirror. Not only that, rain seal to windshield wipers actually do come standard on the XC60. So you gotta love that as well. And if you wanted a head up display that is available, that does come standard, I should say, for the ultimate trim level, the very top trim level of this one. That's gonna essentially project your speed, speed limit, and safety features up on your windshield for a little better forward visibility then as well. And so that about rounds out the performance segment of this review, guys. Let's now go ahead and take a look at the exterior of our brand new 2023 Volvo XC60. All right, so here she is, you guys, the new 2023 Volvo XC60. Let's go ahead and start up front on this one. So one of the changes for the 2023 year is the front grille is now gonna be referred to as either a bright or a dark theme. So no additional cost for either one, but we do have the bright theme. So the bright theme essentially means you're gonna get some chrome accents on the lower portion of that front bumper, as well as surrounding that front grille. If you go with the dark theme, they're gonna be gloss black accents, simply just replacing all of the chrome accents. So in case anybody was curious, that's a new thing for 2023 they did it on the xc90 then as well but anyways let's go ahead and take a look at the headlights here led headlights with led thoris hammer daytime running lights do come standard they do come with the automatic feature meaning when it starts to get dark at night those headlights are going to turn on automatically for you there automatic high beams also coming standard meaning if you have your high beams on at night and it senses a vehicle coming in the opposite direction it's going to automatically dim them back to low beams then when that vehicle is gone it's going to automatically bump it back up to high beams and again that's standard for all trim levels gotta love that and all the way down to the very bottom, you will actually get LED fog lights coming standard as well. So I absolutely love that too. But overall, a very elegant, very recognizable design from Volvo as always, but it pretty much rounds out the front end. So now go ahead and make our way to the side. So but now since we are around to the side of the XC60, let's go ahead and start all the way to the top there. You will find black or silver roof rails, depending upon if you go with that bright theme or the dark theme, of course. Black or silver window surrounds then as well. Rear privacy glass will come standard on this one. Take a look at the side mirrors. They are either going to be body colored or gloss black side mirrors yet again dependent upon the theme that you go with power adjustable of course heated and led integrated turn signals coming standard on those side mirrors as well another thing i want to kind of emphasize on the xc60 and really volvo does this with all of their vehicles but body colored side skirts and so with so many suvs out there a lot of times you will get matte black side skirts and fender surrounds but with volvo they always pay attention to the details like that and so you will get body colored side skirts which again isn't always the case with other the manufacturer so i'm a big fan of that and take a look at the wheel configuration 18 inch double five spoke alloys do come standard 19 inch five v spoke graphite diamond cut alloys then coming with the plus and 20 inch five multi-spoke black diamond cut alloys coming with the ultimate trim level so sure fire way to distinguish what trim level you're looking at it's going to differ when it comes to that wheel setup across the board so don't want to mention that but anyways that pretty much rounds out the side profile let's now go ahead and make our way to the back and so now since we are around to the back of the xc60 all the way to the top you will find a body colored shark fin antenna just below that rear spoiler with an integrated brake light just below that rear window wiper you will get some Volvo badging spelled out horizontally. I always like the look of that. The B5 badging, of course, as well. You get some chrome or gloss black accents towards the lower portion of that rear bumper. And of course, LED taillights do come standard. I don't want to forget to mention that. That's for all trim levels across the board as well. So added illumination there. And just below it all, underneath, you will find dual exhaust outlets kind of tucked away. So having said that, I do believe you guys know what we have to do next. As always, here is that exhaust clip. And so now since we are around to the back of the XC60, when it comes to opening that rear tailgate, it is a hands-free power tailgate that does come standard for all trim levels across the board. So you gotta love that. Once opened up, cargo capacity comes in at 22.4 cubic feet behind that second row. If that was not enough space, the rear seats do fold down, of course, bumping that up to 63.3 cubic feet then. There is some cargo lighting back there. There's a couple grocery bag hooks. There's tie down anchors, 12 volt power outlet. There's some netted storage. And if you were to lift up underneath of that cargo floor, you will also find a spare tire 
as well. And I almost forgot to mention the cargo cover. I always like cargo covers in SUV, so I'm a big fan of that as well. But then making our way up to the rear legroom, that is going to come in at an even 38 inches. So for reference, I'm an even six feet tall. This is how much space I had in that second row there. Rear ventilation does come standard. It might not be where you would think it would be though. Typically it's found just in front of the passengers, but it's actually found just in front of those rear windows, kind of on the sides rather than in the middle. So, but it does come standard either way. So we did want to mention that rear center armrest with cup holders does come standard as well. You do have some dual phone charging ports just underneath of where you would have thought the rear ventilation would have been. So that is there as well. And heated rear seats are going to be optional if you wanted to go that route too. But then make our way up to the front seats. Leather seating is going to come on the plus and ultimate trim levels. Power adjustable front seats does come standard. Power adjustable passenger seat with memory settings coming with the ultimate that actually comes with power side bolsters for the ultimate trim level as well so that is pretty darn cool heated front seats though do come standard across the board so i wanted to emphasize that and if you want ventilated front seats again that is going to be specific to the ultimate trim level then overall seat comfort was all right didn't have any issues in my short test drive here today i would say if the seams were vertical it probably would have been a little more comfortable but still definitely not bad and i do want to also mention of course you got the flag of sweden found on the passenger seat there as well which is always pretty cool but then making our way to the steering wheel it is tilt and telescoping it is leather wrapped and it is heated that does come standard as well so that's pretty cool as well then make our way to the startup let me start by showing you guys the key here you got your volvo logo on the one side and actually all of your buttons are on the side of the key you got lock unlock and that button to pop the rear tailgate but it is all keyless entry with a turn knob start so all i'm going to do here is simply put my foot on the brake and turn the knob to the right and by the way to turn the vehicle off again you're going to turn the knob to the right so same thing in both directions there but but then once started up when it comes to the gauges you will find a 12.3 inch digital gauge cluster that does come standard across the board i love this readout it looks so dang good you got the navigation front and center so that is always up there and by the way volvo is powered by google so all you need to do is say hey google turn on the radio sure here you go and it's that easy it literally listens to everything you say so i absolutely love that feature as well but anyways the gauges are absolutely wonderful again it's completely digital so it gives you everything you could possibly want outside temperature how many miles you have left until you hit empty and when actually when you get low in gas like we are right now it's actually going to ask you if you want to find the nearest gas station then you can select yes or no and it'll take you to that nearest gas station so another cool little feature there as well but anyways so now go ahead and make our way to overall interior quality panoramic sunroof does come standard the coolest thing about this panoramic sunroof is the way you open it you slide your finger to the back and to the front then if you want to close it so it's kind of like a 007 way of opening the panoramic sunroof so i'm a big fan of that you will also find a frameless rear view mirror with homelink controls for up to three different garage doors so that is pretty cool as well there is no wireless phone charger the least that i was able to find on the xc60 though four zone climb control if you wanted that you can get that with the ultimate trim level only and that essentially means driver passenger and both rear passengers can set their own temperatures otherwise you get dual zone climate control and overall i think there is one two three four four, five, six, maybe six buttons, seven buttons overall in the interior of this thing. So it's a very simplistic design, which I honestly personally prefer. Also like the matte wood trim found just above the passenger side glove box, as well as surrounding the shifter here too. So definitely a big fan of that matte wood finish there. Electric mechanical parking brake behind the shifter. Of course you have dual cup holders, 12 volt power outlet. And within the center armrest, you have a couple phone charging ports and a decent amount of storage in there as well. So overall interior quality, is definitely on point in the XC60. But now let's make our way to one of my favorite parts about this thing, which is the infotainment screen. It's a nine inch vertical color touchscreen display, kind of like a tablet. So if you've worked a tablet before, you can essentially work this. That's the way I see it. Bluetooth and audio streaming do come standard. Android Auto, Apple CarPlay, of course. Factory navigation system is going to come standard across the board as well. You can check out your climate control settings up there, as well as your heated seat buttons and heated steering wheel button as well. And of course, your radio information. And so when it comes to the sound systems, you will get a standard sound system with the core and the plus. And so we'll be testing that out here in a second. But the ultimate trim level is actually going to give you a 14 speaker Harman Kardon sound system with 600 watts. And again, that's not the one we have today, unfortunately. So having said that, what do you guys say? Let's go ahead and turn on Sirius XM here and see what we got planned today and let's test out the clarity of this one. Ah, 
Actually, you guys, stupid amount of bass. That was a really good amount of bass for the XC60, without a doubt. And again, that's not the Harman Kardon sound system because we have the plus trim level with us here today. So that's just the standard sound system that comes with the core and the plus. That was pretty darn good. Plenty of a sound system for the XC60, quite honestly, without a doubt. But anyways, last thing I want to mention to you guys, on the infotainment screen at least, is when you do put this thing in reverse, you will find a rear view camera coming stated across the board. But if you tap that rear view camera, it's actually a 360 degree option dead center of that screen. And that's going to give you that bird eye view as well letting you know what is completely all around you which is always is going to lead us into safety and so to start the 2023 xc60 is an iihs top safety pick plus which pretty much says it all right there it's the very highest designation given by iihs for safety front side side carrying airbags do come standard driver's knee airbag up front as well in the back you're going to have latch aka lower anchors and tethers for children for the rear car seats rear child door locks tire pressure monitoring system but also coming standard will be a blind spot monitoring system with rear cross traffic alert automatic emergency braking collision avoidance assist with pedestrian detection and cyclist detection and large animal detection so if a deer jumps out in front of you it's going to automatically stop for you there so that's pretty cool driver attention monitoring system lane departure warning lane keep assist rear parking sensors runoff road protection and runoff road mitigation then as well again coming standard for all trim levels across the board so Overall, when it comes to my final thoughts of the XC60, I love the safety on this one, especially if you got kids in the back. You want to know you're driving the safest vehicle possible, and the XC60, the XC90, really any Volvo, is going to be the safest vehicle possible. They've been known for that for quite a while now, and that's still the case, just going off the IIHS ratings there. Great design. I like the simplistic design to the interior. also like the exterior design as well. It's very timeless. Digital gauge cluster I'm a big fan of as well. I like that you can adjust the steering feel by itself as well so i mentioned that to you guys the only constructive criticism i could probably think of for this thing is if you take a look at consumer reports it basically gives it a questionable reliability rating so if somehow volvo would be able to score a higher rating when it comes to reliability i would probably be all over this thing because it's pretty much got everything i personally would probably want but anyways i want to hear from you what do you guys think of the new xc60 that is about it for this one you guys thank you so much for watching feel free to follow me on social media if you want to see what's coming next to the channel before it gets to youtube be sure to hit to subscribe to the bell notification button if you're in new car reviews that is what we do here on this channel after all do appreciate you guys watching more than you know and i will see you guys all in the next video stay gold <laughs>